New information tonight, a major shakeup for sports, education, and industries. The NCAA announcing no fans will be allowed at March Madness tournaments due to the coronavirus. Universities across the country are closing their campuses and moving to online classes. And industries monitoring the travel of workers. We have team coverage following these changes. We begin tonight with Y31 Shosh Bedrosian. She is live at Redstone Arsenal. She spoke with the director of public and congressional affairs about procedures that they are following. Shosh. Naja, the Department of Defense and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have issued travel health have issued travel health notices right now for Italy, China, South Korea, and Iran. And right now, the Redstone Arsenal is screening anyone who has traveled to those areas or have been in contact with anyone from those areas as well. Now, as of today, the Redstone Arsenal is operating normally, and there have been no cases. Uh, have cases that been identified at the Redstone Arsenal or in the state of Alabama yet. But with frequent travelers internationally and all around the United States coming to this base right here in Huntsville, the Arsenal is closely screening people who have a link to these four countries by monitoring them for 14 days. Right now, officials on the Arsenal are also adjusting procedures when it comes to meetings with people from certain parts of the country or internationally. They said they've moved some of these in-person meetings to phone conferences. They're also meeting weekly with eight other organizations on the Arsenal and senior leaders every Wednesday on any update and plans if a case does arise here on the Arsenal. Now, if you have traveled to any of those four countries I, I have listed, those are restricted countries according to the CDC and Department of Defense or other high case areas in the United States and have either a fever, a cough, shortness of breath, officials advise you you to avoid contact with others and to call ahead to your doctor's office or emergency room if you're coming. Reporting live in Huntsville, Shosh Pedrosian, Way 31 News.